Hi, I'm LA. I'm one of the keepers at Carolina Tiger Rescue. Um, you are about to see one of my training sessions uh, for operant conditioning with one of our tigers, uh, Roscoe. Uh, we do operant conditioning here. Um, it serves three main purposes. We're not uh, training them to do tricks um, or anything um, like that. All of the behaviors are either for a medical purpose, um, so we can't be hands-on with tigers or with any of our animals, obviously. Uh, so uh, operant conditioning uh, teaches uh, these animals to do some of the behaviors um, that might help us in a medical situation. So um, we might teach them to flip over their paw so we can see their paw pad um, or open their mouth so that we can see in their mouth um, or jump up on the fence so that we can see their belly. Um, and that way, um, if any situation arises where we would need to take a look at those things, um, we have the potential to do so without uh, using sedation. Um, and then we, a uh, second reason why we use it for some of our guys here uh, is because they have come from on paths that we don't know a whole lot about. Um, some of them have unfortunate paths. And so um, we can use it to work through some of those uh, behaviors that come as a result of that, um, be it uh, anxiety um, or aggression, um, nervousness, things like that. Um, so Roscoe suffers um, from some anxiety, um, which is why he lives off the tour path. And so um, we can use operant as a positive way to um, help him maintain a calm demeanor um, while some of those things that he thinks are scary are going on near his enclosure. Um, and then the last um, main reason is that it's a great form of enrichment for the animals. So um, we talked in one of our previous videos about enrichment being um, something that's going to stimulate one of their five senses to keep them from uh, being bored in captivity. And so uh, operant conditioning is a great way for them to use their brain to figure out what behavior we're asking of them for them to get a reward. Um, and so uh, operant is one of my favorite things because it covers such a wide variety of purposes um, and it's a great um, tool that we use here. Roscoe came to us from a facility um, that is no longer in operation and we don't know uh, a whole lot about his past prior to that. Um, so we don't really know the cause of his anxiety or nervousness. Um, it's but, great to be able to see him get uh, such positivity from it, um, especially an animal that um, does have, uh, gets worked up over small things um, that shouldn't necessarily be something that a tiger should be afraid of and so um, when we're doing our uh, operant conditioning then uh, it's clear that he is um, getting enjoyment out of being able to have the right answer and know how to properly react uh, to a situation um, even if it's just a training session and so it's great to uh, be able to help him with that um, and I do feel privileged that he uh, is very choosy about who he uh, decides to show his face for so even though he's in the back of the sanctuary he also spends a lot of time in the back of the enclosure um, but typically he will come up for me and so it's great to have that uh, bond I guess with one of the animals that I'm somebody that he's uh, built some sort of trust relationship with uh, <laughs> so that we can help him work through some of uh, that anxiety those other issues.